1.2f Operations with Integers Add and Subtract Several Integers When adding and subtracting many integers, we work left to right. The easy way to remember this is we work through the problem the same way we would read through the problem. From the left to the right, we do one step at a time to ensure that no steps are skipped. In example one, we see that there are a couple sets of double signs. We must address this before we can solve the problem. We see that the first double sign is a positive and a negative. This first sign turns into a negative. In the second example, there are two negative symbols. Two negatives become a positive. Remember, the way for de to decide what double signs become is by remembering your multiplication rules and that a positive times a negative results in a negative, whereas a negative times a negative results in a positive. After we have addressed the double signs, we then can rewrite the rest of the problem, bringing down those numbers from above. We now have a problem that has no double signs, so we now may now start working left to right. We do the first two numbers. When looking at these first two numbers, we see that they are both negatives. Since they are the same sign, we know we must use the rule same sign add and keep. This means I do five plus two to give me seven, and keep means keep the sign of the two numbers. We now bring everything else straight down and continue the problem. In the next step, we have the first two numbers going left to right once again. This time we see that it is a negative 7 and a positive 6. These two numbers do not have the same sign, therefore we must use the rule for different signs. When there are different signs, we use the rule different signs subtract, keep the sign of the larger number. This means we must first subtract the two numbers. 7 minus 6 gives you 1. And keep the sign of the larger number. The larger number is negative 7, so our answer is negative 1. We now must bring down all other pieces of the problem that we have yet to use. We now see that we have negative 1 minus 4 plus 8. We now look at the next two numbers from left to right. We assess whether they have the same sign or different. These two numbers have the same sign, both of which are negative. Therefore, we use the rule same sign, add and keep. Since they are the same sign, we add them together. 1 plus 4 is 5. Keep the sign means keep the sign of the number, which means we keep it negative. Since we did nothing to the positive 8, we bring it down. In our final step, we only have two numbers left. We now decide which rule to use. We see that these two numbers have different signs. Since they have different signs, we must subtract them from one another and keep the sign of the larger number. When we do 8 minus 5, we get 3, and the larger number is 8, and it is positive, therefore our answer is positive. We do not, however, need to write the positive symbol in front of the 3, and therefore our answer is 3. Example 2. In example 2, we can see that once again we have double signs. We must first address these double signs before we are able to solve the problem. Remember, double signs follow the rules for multiplication. Therefore, a positive and a negative make a negative, and a negative and a negative make a positive. Since we have done nothing to the rest of the problem, all other parts are brought straight down. 
After bringing all the pieces down, we can see that we have no double signs and therefore can start working from left to right. We start with the two numbers at the front and we see that we have a positive 4 and a negative 8. These two numbers have different signs, therefore we need to subtract them from one another. When we have 8 minus 4, we get the answer of 4. We then must decide the sign on the number. And since the 8 is the larger number, we keep its sign, giving the answer negative 4. We then bring down the rest of the problem to continue solving. We now look at the next two numbers in the problem and see that it is negative 4 and a negative 3. These two numbers have the same sign, therefore we use the rule same sign add and keep. When I add the 3 and the 4 together, I get a 7, and keeping the symbol means that the 7 is negative. I next bring down all of the pieces from above. I can now look at the next two numbers. I have a negative 7 and a positive 1. These two numbers have different signs and therefore I must subtract. The 7 minus 1 would give me a 6. After subtracting, I must determine the sign. Remember, we always keep the sign on the larger number. The larger number is 7 and it was negative, so our sign is negative. We next bring down the positive 3. We now only have two numbers remaining. These two numbers are negative 6 and positive 3. They have different signs, therefore we must subtract them. The 6 minus 3 would give me a 3. I then must determine the sign on the number, and since the 6 is the larger number, I keep its sign, which was negative. Therefore, the answer is negative 3. Remember that when solving many integers with adding and subtracting, we always work left to right. Before we may work left to right, remember to get rid of double signs using the multiplication rules.